Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. MLB The Show has action out of the AL Central. It's the Chicago White Sox taking on the Minnesota Twins. Along with Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. Singing, we're going to see a lengthy win streak put to the test. Over the course of a full season, Boog, there are few stretches where a team is clicking offensively, defensively, starting pitching, and bullpen. Right now, this is one of those stretches for this club. So just about set and on the hill, Anthony D. Sclafani and Singy, he likes pitching at home. Well, truly for him, there is no place like home. He's been so dominant here. And as a teammate, you expect him when pitching at home this year to go out and dominate just as he has. The fans expect it. And I think everyone around here knows that he's a good pitcher. Even though we don't see the same splits on the road, we're going to start to see that translate as well. Left hand batter waits. And that skips into there. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Boog gets talked about a lot, but a good high fastball in a two strike situation, it's just become such a problem for hitters in more recent years. With all of the emphasis by pitchers on developing that spin rate, having a good grip on the baseball, those high fastballs. They kind of look like to the hitter that they're rising, even though they're not, but they're not decreasing in velocity and spin rate. So very difficult to get the barrel on it. Two outs, base is empty. Aloy Jimenez now. That's in there. That's strike one. The pitch. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Now he turns and heads for second. The throw in. Not going to get him. He's in there. Love how he let that ball travel. Trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Luis Robert, the batter now, as he swings and misses for strike one. That's in there. Oh, and two. Well, there's a chance right here for one of the better hitters on this roster to get him on the board. A swing and a miss. That retires the side. And now for the Twins, Austin Martin. The line of the pitch. Jack Swain went around. Strike one. one. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. Next That's offering down low and in the dirt. One ball, two strikes. Okay. Chase that time. Three and ball. another ball. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. The cutter right there had just enough movement on it to get the swing and miss. It wasn't a great location by any means. That's typically a spot that hitters can handle. So I'd say he fooled him with just enough of that late action. Swing and a ball lifted left field. And that one pulled down by Jimenez. And there's two down. Here's Royce Lewis. Went deep in the ball game last night. Out to short beyond. Tosses to first. That's the inning. Top of the second. Andrew Vaughn now. And that drops in for a strike. That one fouled off. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. So a man on base to start the inning. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Over to Correa for one. Relay to first double play. I think four, six, three double plays like that are way tougher than these guys make it look sometimes because no matter how you do it, the feed from the second baseman is a tough one. That's where footwork really comes into play, but right there, very well done. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Second inning here. No score. 
And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Bottom of the inning. Now the Minnesota cleanup hitter, Carlos Correa. The pitch. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. And he's got a leadoff double. Oh, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Loud contact leads to the double. I mean, you could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of his stick. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. Matthew Ross umpiring behind home plate for us in this one. He's got a reputation for having a bit of a wide strike zone, Chris. Yeah, no doubt, Boo. He rewards pitchers when they're working the edges and sometimes a little bit beyond that. So for the hitters, just have to really be aware. Don't miss your pitch when you get it early in the count. In the dirt, now two and two. What about some no-nos? Like, you can't call the umpire blue the way you do in Little League or high school, right? <laughs> yeah. Even in the minor leagues, you'll learn quickly. Uh, you call the umpire blue. You better learn his name. And uh, that's just part of being a professional player and even a major league player. Got him. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout. And there's one away. Ryan Jeffers at the plate. Well, just nope. ripped a page out of the Greg Maddox playbook. Throw that pitch at the hip and just watch it jump back over the inside part of the plate. Tell you what, if you are baffled, expecting that to almost hit you and then end up as a called strike. The 1-1. One -one. Swing and a high fly ball. Pretty well struck right field. That one's back there. And that ball is out of here. He flexes his power with that swing, and they add a pair. It's 2-0. That's a fun way to take the lead. Just hit one out of the park. recognition early he saw exactly where that was going to be the challenge not get over anxious and come out of your swing he stayed on it and got all of it Max Kepler at the plate one home run shy of 200 for his career and first offering is fouled off It's a bullet, but it goes foul. Two runs across in the inning here in the second game of the series. Foul ball still 0 and 2. Struck him out looking. Been a pretty rough start to this series for him at the plate. Three strikeouts in the first game yesterday, another one right there. They clearly got a great plan for how to deal with this guy right now. In time, Duvall gets him easily, ends the inning. But the Twins bring in two on the homer. It's now a 2-0 ball game. Back at target field. Now it's Paul DeYoung up to the plate. Breaking ball in there for a strike. DeYoung in the eighth spot in today's lineup, and he was drafted in the fourth round back in 2015. And a good eye there. It's a good take. Right hander kicks deals. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And that's the first out. Now, here is Brooks Baldwin. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield, and 
Even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. Now it's the DH, Colson Montgomery. First pitch doesn't find the zone. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Runners at first and second with one go. Next offer in there for a strike. One and two. My drive, that's a base hit. Coming home. He's safe. His confidence level is so high. A really nice job of going through it in a big spot. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. And a pinch. On the ground, could be two. There's one. And they bounce into two already. This one ends the third. But the RBI single pushes across a run. And this is now a 2-1 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. And welcome back to the ballpark. Here's Trevor Larnick. Woodford back to work. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Left-hand hitter waits. And a foul ball. The wind of the pitch. That One misses. Two. One and two to count. Swing and a miss. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. So the lineup flips over. Austin Martin. The next twin up to hit. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. So the man aboard now with one away. And next for Minnesota, Edouard Julien. Throw to first. Martin dives and can't get back in time. He's picked off. Side low, ball one. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. And that one pulled down by Jimenez. And New inning getting started. Here's the center fielder, Luis Robert. Bottom of the zone and a called strike. Swings through that. This one in the air. Catcher tosses the mask, settles under it, puts it away for the out. And there's one down. And up next for Chicago, Andrew Vaughn. That one out to right. And that is a foul ball. One down, base is empty. On the ground to the left. Correa over to first. And a couple of quick outs. Here's Mike Moustakis to hit. Good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground. Nice ground out. There's a strike. Oh, two. Lace down the line. This looks like extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. The throw in. In there safely. Everything came together for him. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Here's the swing and a miss. I think he was sitting off speed there. Struck him out without the swing. Called strike. Back in Minnesota, digging in, Royce Lewis. Here comes a pitch. Right through there for a strike. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. And the righty deals. 
That one the other way. Oh, he gloves it. Here's Carlos Correa. One for one with a double and a run scored. And that's in there at the knees. Boom. Over 80% of his first pitches are strikes. You're doing that. You could have a really good day out there in the mound. Oh. Next offering is downstairs. One one. And a pitch. Two and one. it is two and one. Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. Wouldn't oh. chase that time. A rare three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. That one ripped. <laughs> He'll touch them all. Home run number 30 on the year. It's 3 1. He absolutely feasts on right handed pitching and devours that one for a homer. And you can see that's what he expects of himself. At bat after at bat, he's that confident. A hanging breaking ball is a pitch that a hitter does not want to miss. Right there, a hanging slur. Got all of it. So one out, nobody on. Alex Kirilov now at the plate. That one finds the zone. It's 0-1. Out to short. To Young. Whips it to first on the run. Oh. Two down. That's what a good sinker is designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. Jeffers. Now in the box. Comes up empty with a swing there. One run across in the frame so far. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. Ground ball right side. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. Gets it there in time, though. And they... Why to kick the pitch? Hard hit, right side. On to first. And a quick out, number one. Brooks Baldwin steps to the plate for the White Sox. On the ground, right side. Steps on first for the out. Back to the top of the White Sox lineup. Now here is Dominic Fletcher. Swing and a miss. One, one. Come on. One, two down, nobody on. And we're at the top of the fifth. On the ground, out to short. Whips it to Kirillov. And it's a one, two, three. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Now batting Max Kepler. The pitch. Swing and a drive. Deep right field. That's back there. Out of here. His 47th home run of the season, and they add to their lead. It's 4-1. Singy, somebody go track down that baseball. It's number 200 for him. 200 career home runs. That's legitimate power at the plate, and that's something that a lot of guys would dream of getting to. a hanger and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that and right there he made him pay and here is Matt Walmer and the pitch a little bit low ball one but he's got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. Nobody on, nobody out with a run in. Last half of inning number five. Chopper right side. Baldwin. Sends it to yeah. first. And that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. So up next for Minnesota, Trevor Larnick. Late swing, foul to the left. One down, base is empty. And it's fouled away.
Play call one and two. Righty delivers. That oh. misses. It's two and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Three and balls. another ball. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. Line to left. And that one pulled down by Jimenez. And that is that. But the solo shot stretches their lead even further. It's now a 4-1 ball game. You're dialed into the show. All set for the start of the inning. Now the number two hitter, Colson Montgomery. Towards first, Kirilov. Takes it himself, one up, one down. Here's Aloy Jimenez. Right through there for a strike. He's controlling things out there on the mound, not messing around at all. He's been in attack mode since the very start. Fastball for a strike. And the count is 0-2. Now fly ball to right center. Sizing this one up. Squeezes it. Out. Number two. Two outs. Base is empty. Luis Robert now. That one's in there. And that is strike one. Robert, a former Gold Glove winner, 26 years old, and he was born in Cuba. Base hit. That was smoked through the infield. And that keeps the inning going. Andrew Vaughn steps to the plate for the White Sox. There's the strike. Out to short, Correa. They take the force out, and that is the third. Back down to the bottom of the sixth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Shane Drohan. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Julian, the leadoff batter, as he looks at ball one. Comes up empty as he chases that one, one in the dirt. One I'll tell you what, he's embarrassed right now. Never swings at that kind of pitch, especially that early in the count. On the ground, ball. He steps on the bag, and that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. So digging in, Royce Lewis. Wouldn't chase that okay. time. Activity in the pen for the White Sox. Jared Schuster appears to be getting loose. Toussaint, a right-hander, loosening up as well. Bounced out to short, to Young. Two up, two down. Now Correa up to hit. He's already homered in this game. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. That one ripped left field. That's back. It has the distance gone. Another homer. His second home run of the game. And they tack on to their lead. It's 5-1. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boog. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dish. home runs where you really don't know if he got enough of it off the bat. I mean, he put a good swing on it, clearly, but I wouldn't say he really got the sweet spot on the bat. The exit v -low wasn't anything too impressive, but it had all it needed for him to circle the pillows. Here's Alex Kirilov. Oh. That one missed. One and out. Swing it a foul straight back. The lefty fires. Two balls, one strike. Two 
Swing and a miss. Ugly swing right there. Dolan, those hitters count sometimes can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. That one lifted to left. And that one pulled down by Jimenez. And that's the third out. Carlos Correa with the key hit this inning. It's now a 5-1 ball game. This is Twins Baseball on the show north. Back at target field, top of inning number seven. Here's the third baseman, Mike Moustakis. And there's a breaking ball that drops in there. Swings through that one for strike two. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. And that one hammered. That's back there. And it bangs off the top of the wall. Throws to second. And he's there with a double. Max Stassi comes up to hit. And there's a foul ball. You know, these White Sox, digging into their numbers, the have to be happy with the swings they're taking. One. Just look at how the ball's coming off their bats, and tell me it's fun playing Ready. defense at this level. They've got seven hits at 90-plus miles per hour exit velocity, so you got to look the right there. Got him looking. Picks up strikeout number seven. And now Paul DeYoung. That Woo. one's in there, and that's strike one. Ball and one there. Next offering in there for a strike. Now one and two. One and two. Two balls. Two in the dirt. Nice job behind the plate there. Two two now. Struck him out looking. Fastball the letters frozen for strike three. Fly ball down the line. And a foul ball. Flips the corner, and the count is 0-2. Moose at second with two down. Pull the string of the changeup. The White Sox. And we're back. Back, set for the last half of the seventh. Here's the catcher, Brian Jeffers. The middle, Baldwin. Now a jump throw. And one away in the bottom of the seventh. Max Kepler, the next twin up to hit. He's already homered here in this one. one in ball. the dirt, okay. ball one. Base is empty, one away. Here in the bottom of the seventh. That one is absolutely belted. And it one hops the wall. Around first, digging for two. To second, but way too late, safe there. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Just a solid swing right there. He caught it out front and lifted it into the outfield for a base hit. Those always feel great. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. Out of here. And they add a couple more. It's 7-1. That's their fifth homer of the game. Man, they're all getting into the action. It's starting to feel like a home run derby up here. I love the approach as a pitch hitter right there. Don't let him steal a strike on you just because you're coming in cold off the bench. You get something to handle, jump all over, and he was on that one. It's a big boost to the dugout. New pitcher for the White Sox, Tuki Tucson. I think it's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but he's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. Fastball right back to the mound. Slings the first, and he's out. 
And now for the Twins, Austin Martin. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Swing and a miss. And it's on two. And there's the ball. Base is empty, two away, but two runs are in here in the second game of the series. Pitch misses there, and the count is two and two. Swing and a miss, and he's down on strikes. Inning over, but the Twins bring in two on the homer. It's now 7-1. And welcome back to the ballpark. And now the right fielder, Dominic Fletcher. Hard hit, left side. Throws to yeah. first. And that's one away. And the leadoff man is out in the eighth. Well, maybe we talk about how the ball is coming out of the pitcher's hand. The way it comes out of his hand as an infielder. Wow, really impressive. Right through there for a strike. Timing issues can snowball quickly, and that's what we're witnessing here. This lineup's inability to walk over the pitcher's delivery is causing a few awkward swings. Two outs, base is empty. Aloy Jimenez steps to the plate for the White Sox. That's in there, and it's all one. Good eye right there. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. And that extends the inning. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. Two outs. Line drive. Base hit right field. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And liner, base hit. Jimenez coming home. And he's out. Knocked down, and that ends the inning. Bang, bang, play at the plate right there. Outfielder needed no help. An absolutely perfect throw to get him right on the money. Excellent tag by the catcher. And the inning ends on an awesome play. Ready for the. Bottom of the eighth. And now for the Twins, Edouard Julien. Toussaint back to work. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left handed hitter. Well, these Twins, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. It's been a real team effort. Already seven oh, extra base hits. So that goes to show they're getting contributions from top to bottom. Nobody's doing that by themselves. That one hit. not close. And that's ball one. Oh. And another ball. Uh, he might have to look for a different put-away pitch right here, too, too. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at-bat, so might have Three it timed two. up and ready for it. 3-2 now. Hey. Got him looking for the K. Well, he throws him with a great fastball right on the corner. It's kind of like bowling when you think the ball's going to get into the gutter and somehow just hangs onto that edge and knocks down a pin. No, well, ball. he got the outside corner of the plate and got that called third strike. The pitch. In the air, right field. And there's two away. And here comes Carlos Correa. Three for three. He's got a double and a pair of home runs. Oh. The shortstop takes the ball. Oh, no. In the air, left field. Jimenez has it sized up. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Back at target field. Now the third baseman, Mike Moustakis. 
right through there for a strike. I mean, his pitch efficiency, ability to get ahead in the count, at times pitch to contact, let the defense work behind him. That's why he's still in the game here in the ninth inning. And it finds its way through for a hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. You just don't see it that much anymore. A guy being this efficient and getting this deep into the game. I wonder if he's going to be able to close it out. It's just something about that ninth inning. But being at under 100 pitches, he's still got plenty of fuel left in the tank. Next offering in there for a strike. That's strike two. Now this is in the air down the line. And that will drop foul. Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. This one popped up. Julian sizes this one up. He's there. He's got it. And there's one down. He's two outs away. So up next for Chicago. Paul the Young. Right through there for a strike. One strike. Ground ball could be two. Over to Correa for one. That's a double play. The ball game is over. It seemed like from the first pitch of this ball game, this guy was going to get it done. A quality start. Who knew he'd throw a complete game and get the victory? But an excellent job of continuing to just throw what the catcher put down. He navigated through this ball game with jam here or jam there, but ultimately it was an outstanding outing. And a 7-1 finish in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi. Thanks for joining us.